Before the Democratic year, as colleagues and friends as you know, our labor market data provided at best partial and often, and often highly distorted uh, information on Africans, the majority of our population. Now, it's not a problem only of the past. It makes informed analysis of historical trends over time difficult to do. Because we still sit with that legacy of uh, uh, imperfect data. Since 1994, the statistics authorities have covered the African population, but they've had to develop new instruments for that purpose. We currently publish two surveys of employment. The one is based on a household survey, not on doors and speaking to people, the quarterly labor force survey, and the other is a survey of businesses, the quarterly employment survey. Now the household survey is comprehensive and covers the whole economy, and the business survey excludes the informal sector and agriculture. So they're not strictly comparable for, the, for these reasons. But we can take from the household survey, the labor force survey, formal sector employment, because it does capture formal sector and informal sector employment separately. So if we compare the formal sector employment in the household survey with the formal sector employment in the business survey, and we exclude agriculture, the number should be approximately the same. But if you look at quarter, uh, quarter one this year, the results show a number of anomalies. For example, while in the business survey, the quarterly employment survey, there are 1.1 million formal sector manufacturing jobs. In the QLFS, there's about 1.5 million formal sector manufacturing jobs. In other words, about 400,000 more. There are other large and inexplicable gaps in sectors ranging from mining to construction, transport, and to what is described as the financial sector. Let me raise a question. To what extent has labor market statistics been influenced by the growth of labor broking and new forms of employment? In the case of labor broking, workers in an operation formally classified, say, as manufacturing, may be reclassified into the finance sector in which the category of labor broking operations are reflected, even though none of the underlying economic activity has changed. So I've raised a few questions of areas that I think we need to use your knowledge base, your expertise, your research work to shed more light for us as government. And part of our work in the next year must be to develop the best quality labor market information that is possible so that you can see both the trends but also the absolute numbers of employed and unemployed.